the three missing Montgomery College students continues in Frederick County. And I got to play with Juwan. It was great. <laughs> Definitely yeah, fun. Oh, okay. keep going. <laughs> <laughs> We're here. Welcome, guys, to Footage for Play. I'm glad y'all joining us today. Uh, we are joined by uh, the Post Ghost himself. I want to know, Post Ghost Evan, where the Post Ghosts come from? <laughs> Uh, <laughs> what an aggressive wow, that was fast. Yeah, <laughs> yes, I just want to know before I get so I get to Mr. Tom here. Yeah, um, post ghost is like I'm, I'm, I'm. I know, like I directed this project with Tom, but like I'm mostly in post production. Like I'm an editor. I do oh. visual effects, that kind of thing. But I really, I like to do the stuff that you can't really tell mm-hmm. that it's real or not and so that's the kind of idea of like post ghost you don't know that something's been done to it yeah gotcha you would go so you ghost evan love it all right and we're also joined by tom (laughs) prar how you say last name pardo Uh, welcome yeah well, I'm glad you guys are here. Welcome to Footage Four Play. Um, you got like and- a, you got like a folk singer name. I really like your name. To- obviously, I like folk? Evan's you name. Even listen That's to folk music? <laughs> but, <laughs> but no, Tom Tom Pardo. That sounds like you sound like you're gonna get up there and hit us with a ballad. I like it. Oh, I mean, like I can just like a stage. You can sing. Oh, I require a stage, and then then we're good. Okay. <laughs> All right. Well, I okay, hope well, that at a future off we get a we get a Tom Pardo. <laughs> yeah, ballad. you got to come out. Speaking of off, <laughs> Evan. Uh, Post Ghost Evan, you joined us for the Unnamed Footage Festival 7, and your short Beholder crushed. Like, yeah, legit. You won Best Short. How do you guys feel about that? Real good. <laughs> Real good. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, yeah, no, it was, it was, it was very cool to have it played as such, like, just a packed crowd. Um, of people who were pretty much silent, which was incredibly nerve wracking. <laughs> oh, I bet. Um, but it's all, yeah, it's, it's been very cool to see like which moments uh, uh, you get reactions from in the different crowds. Cause um, like there's, there's one scene in the attic that keeps, that keeps getting like a big, a big vocal response. That was yeah. one that Tom shot. Um um, but yeah, it's it's been it was it was very cool to have it at at uh, it was very cool to uh, get recognized and and win best short. We we got a lot of rejections uh, from festivals. <laughs> the the film was like a full like eight minutes longer. I tightened it up a lot by the time it got to us. Uh, but um, I I got in the habit of asking for the festival feedback um which wasn't great someone someone's comment was it physically hurts to watch this and i think that's the point um <laughs> damn dude what the fuck <laughs> all right what festival was that <laughs> I, <no. laughs> oh, I didn't bring to that bridge that's a festival i actually <laughs> like so <laughs> oh, put them out there oh man um, no, but it's it's experimental. It's mm-hmm. it's it's got lots of visual flashes. I can see why it's not for everyone, you know. Sure. Yeah, I feel like when you make like like weird, cool art, like you make, you gotta know when you make it that it's not for everyone, and that's kind of by design because it's fucking it's too cool to be for everyone. I think. You know, like there's no way you make something that out there and, and and like, which that's, and I don't mean that in a negative way. I love shit that's out there. You've seen inverse. I mean, yeah, that's very, uh, out there. <laughs> <laughs> beholders uh, way better. So I, so I think, yeah, no, I think, I think like, even when I was making inverse, I'm like, people are going to, some people are going to fucking hate this. Like it's, I think you just kind of know that when you're making it like Terrell hates it, you know? <laughs> Yeah, no. It, it, uh, the best the best films aren't going to appeal to every single person. That's exactly. how you get like the Hollywood say yeah. this, right? To Evan and I had talked about that pretty early on of being like, let's not well making it because he had a very clear vision when we had talked about it where it was about we're making this for us. This isn't for anybody else. Uh, so the whole goal was to enjoy it at the end of the day and be able to look at it and be like, that's a thing that we made for us. Um, Hell yes, yeah. style that we would appreciate. Period. Okay, Tom, look at you shutting that down. Love it. Hell yeah. So, Tom, what else, have, <laughs> what else have you worked on, Tom? Are you guys like a buddy thing? Like you guys do everything together? Or what you got uh, going on? No, I mean, like, so I worked a lot in um, 
cinematography and lighting. Uh, I mm-hmm. worked uh, for a long time as like uh, Grip uh, and Best Boy, all that fun stuff. Uh, but Evan nice. and I have actually worked together since uh, university. Um, I'm in Evan's very first uh, student short at the at the university. Obviously, you made them in high school too, as did I. Uh, oh, but like, right. I'm in Evan's in one of the worst <laughs> fight scenes I think ever put to screen. <laughs> oh, where can uh, we watch it? <laughs> Evan, you got I don't know me. nowhere. That one did not I make it see online. It. <laughs> oh. <laughs> yeah. So Evan reached out to me because I have a I have a dance and gymnastics background from high school. So, oh, you be dancing? Uh, yeah, and I you was. Sing? Uh, yeah. Oh, oh my god. Yeah. No. Uh, I am. Uh, you can be a pop star. Triple threat. There it is. Couldn't remember. <laughs> the word. Um, no. Uh, so like, I think there's a kick where I miss by about six feet. There's about six feet distance between me and somebody else. It's in the cut yeah. um, because <laughs> we had no plan. Uh, but oh then, yeah, God. we did our we did our final project at school together, um, which I think is the first time we really worked together in a professional manner where I did cinematography mm-hmm. and he did editing. Uh, then we had a couple other things we worked together as part of a separate film company, then kind of separated for a couple of years and then came back together to do this, which was super awesome and uh, incredibly rewarding. Mm-hmm. Yeah, we we had we had a we had a few projects that we've tried to get off the ground. We had like a, a horror podcast that we were writing that we oh. just couldn't couldn't nail down. Uh, but yeah, it all it all kind of like eventually came together with this. It was it, it was it was good timing. It was good timing in that it was the worst timing because we were literally in lockdown and could not even approach each oh. other. Yeah, uh, like, so <laughs> it's a story we could film where you're at your house and I'm at my house, and uh, I'll film my stuff and I'll just send it to you, and then you do the magic stuff that you do, and uh, and then yeah, tell, and then we'll discuss <laughs> the next part of the story. Oh, I like that. So this Hell all yeah, started okay. during the pandemic. Then is where this was all filmed and processed and put together. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it it started it started during that, and then. Mm-hmm. It, I think by the end we were. It was like three years after. It was, oh. Yeah, it was like 2023 by the time we had finished this. Yeah. Um, um, yeah. That yeah. That's when that's when I was uh, turning my room into the kill room at the end of the movie. Oh uh, yeah. Which I walked yeah. into and genuinely was like, "Am I gonna die? Is my friend gonna kill me?" Oh. Today? <laughs> you gotta get that kick kick going. That dancing kicks. You gotta uh, get me ready. <laughs> yeah, where'd the you guys have all those um like symbols and stuff in the in the short about like behind the characters? It, it kind of reminded me of like Dead Space or some of those that are really symbol heavy like mm. aesthetically, and I really like that. What what was your kind of inspiration for the symbols? Because I feel like it's it's so simple. Like you just I'm assuming drew that shit behind him with a marker or whatever, painted it right, and then but it works so well. It's so like sketchy looking. Yeah, yeah, that uh, was that was all Tom. Yeah, well, I mean, the eye thing, the the big eye iconography was you on your bathroom, and I copied it because we talked about it, and you showed oh, me that image, God. and I was like, okay, I'll integrate that into my symbols on my wall. But yeah, that was me. I finger painted that. Um, so oh, okay. <laughs> for the scene in the garage, actually, I shot it first because uh, mm-hmm. the idea was the I shot the scene in the garage and got an idea of what the frame of that would be. And then I set yeah. it up on a blank wall and reversed it. And then in pencil, you can't see it in the footage because the you can't, it's too thin. But there's pencil lines that match up with all the heavy lines of the garage scene. So mm. like the screwdriver and the bench and the back wall and all that stuff. So the symbols are drawn very specifically over that. Um, and in a way where then when the black lines come in later on, when we cut between those, it's actually the garage being drawn on the wall uh, ahead of time. So it's the camera kind of. Uh, foreshadowing to Tom uh, what's about to happen. Okay, that was, that was yeah. The idea about it, yeah. All right, that's yeah. cool. Well, it, it looks really good. Production design wise, you killed it. I think. Thank you. With your you. finger painting. Yeah, <laughs> I was like genuinely so, me just being like, I'm gonna scribble and make stuff look like images, <laughs> like it's a language. So y'all made films together in school Mm -hmm. and then you split apart and you both seem to have made careers out of working in film um first off congratulations Mm -hmm. it's not normal that we get submissions that off from people who are actually working in the industry Mm -hmm. but when we do it they always tend to become black sheep now i i'm curious what people you work with like 
I mean, if you jump on IMDb, you both have uh, several big titles that you've worked on in electrical departments. And I'm curious, do you ever have like coworkers who are like, oh, you're making a movie. Cool. And then you're like, yeah, it's a little found footage thing. And they're like, why? Like, <laughs> yeah. Like, how do they react to your film? Um, I, yeah. So I, I work, I work with a, with a VFX team here in Toronto right now. And, uh, they, <laughs> They don't Uh-oh. really care. <laughs> <laughs> wow. It's just it's just yeah, once when you're when you're working with people who are who are working on like um Hollywood level shit, like they the the my my niche glitch stuff isn't isn't quite catching them the same way yeah. that it does <laughs> with the with the found footage crowd, you know? Sure. Yeah. Again, uh, your titles in here on IMDb, now yours, Evan, you have titles like The Witch, uh, The Midnight Man, which uh, we're homies with the director, love him, uh, Travis Z, and then you have like Orphan Black, so you have like some pretty heavy <laughs> hitting things. Oh, Orphan yeah, Black, I, I like that show. That was, that, was, that was very early in my career, and it was doing some, some very minor work. <laughs> well, still, I mean, you know, when you're in that hemisphere... Inevitably, first off, you're a very likable person. You came out and uh, you kind of had a little gravitational pull. <laughs> and then you got the flies like R. Evan hovering around you. Yeah. <laughs> and, and the thing is, I every Something time, about Evans, dude. We just got an energy. Uh, dude, the Evan connection. Well, I mean, we had, we had Paul Parducci come out, and he has a long career in Hollywood. Yeah. Yeah. And then you're like, oh, and now you're making found footage movies, mm-hmm. and you're fucking with us? Like. Every time people who work with them are like, why? Yeah. Like, what the hell? So w- what brought you to? I mean, I from the lockdown angle, I'm a little scared that it was just necessity. But yeah, w- what brought you guys into our in-world camera universe? Uh, well, I mean, I've I've always loved fan footage. Like like one of the I mean, even even past fan footage, like anything like uh, cursed tape stuff always cool. has messed with me. The ring gave me nightmares when I was a kid. That was like the Hell first yeah. movie where like you get to the end and it's like, no, they're just fucking evil. It's not, it's not uh, a happy ending because you solved the witch, the 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 uh, ghost riddle. It's like, no, you just, it's still bad. It's all bad, yeah. and it it really messed with me. And and the uh, the way that she moved. Um, I know oh. I ring use ring use terrific, but the effects used in the American remake where like she actually like glitches forwards. Yeah, scary stuck as hell. With me. Oh my yeah. god. Um mm-hmm. and and yeah, just found footage has always had like a good hold over over my attention. Um I think I think when we were when we were starting to like dig into this, I, I showed Tom Unfriended, which I think is like yeah. Ooh, I love that movie. glitch horror. Um, it's, it's, uh, the way they use glitches in that one is also very, like, terrific to me. I think, I think it perfectly represented, like, the, the time of, um, like, the early, or, like, late aughts, early 2010, uh, video chats and, and just the problems that you would have over early Wi-Fi. Um, uh, yeah, it's just, yeah, fan footage has always just, just had me, and so, uh, eventually when I had no work going on and was incredibly bored, I just started walking around my creepy ass apartment and started filming stuff. And then, uh, me and Tom got to talking about like turning it into an actual thing. Yeah. No. Oh. Oh, wait, yes. <laughs> you ready for more nightmares? Uh, I saw that. That's fucking fantastic. That was fun. Oh yeah. Well, Tom, uh, what was your what was your kind of yeah foray into in world? Uh, so I'm uh, very easily scared. I do not enjoy oh, really? horror movies the pop whatsoever. Star? Absolutely. Wow. Okay. <laughs> oh my god. Have avoided them my entire life. Um, Whoa. because I'm very, very easily scared. Uh, and mm. uh, with found footage in particular, I do remember, though, found footage does draw me in, because I think it was like mm-hmm. in first year uh, university, and I was at a Halloween party or something, and they put Blair Witch Project on, and I was like, this is compelling. Like, I feel like I'm in it. I feel like this is more real. 
Um, and I remember uh, everybody left to go smoke weed at the park, and I was like, no, 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 I need to stay. <laughs> and watch like, that. I'm going to smoke my weed in here and watch yeah. this movie. <laughs> so I, at one point, I had to stop the movie because I immediately became terrified I was going to die. And there what? was um, somebody in the party was passed out in the kitchen, and I just had to like <gasps> turn all the lights on and go over to the kitchen and be like, she's alive, right? She's good? Yep. Okay. Still alive. Good. Still fine. That's and then great. Go back and finish the movie. <laughs> So oh for me, God, like um, the foray into making horror has been amazing because working with Evan and talking about what is the scare. We we joke that I'm the litmus test for if something's actually going to be a there good you scare. Go. Because Evan will send me an example or send me an idea, and I will respond with, "I hate it so much. This is the worst thing you've ever shown me. Uh, put it in the movie. Let's get it in. We got to figure it out." <laughs> oh my God, you guys! Are I funny. love it. Um, there's also Tom. Uh, uh, before we started working on this, Tom did work on another fan footage movie. Oh, what movie? Yep. Oh yeah. shit! Uh, I did Where work on it? VHS ninety four. Uh, oh yeah. nice. Dude. Oh, how was that? Yeah. Uh, it was really cool. I'm credited as the best boy. Um, that's inaccurate. I was an electric. <laughs> Uh, and the best boy's name, whose name is uh, Adrian, uh, this mm-hmm. is my chance to write that wrong and say to the world, hey, uh, Adrian is the best boy on that, not me. Uh, <laughs> but, uh, yeah, like, it was it was wild. I got to work on a short called uh, Terror. and uh, oh, their My rap- favorite, rap. Ryan Prowse, of the yeah. entire thing. That, that's that my favorite is, of that whole movie. That guy is cool. Um, I got to, like kind of chat with him a little bit in a way that normally as like an electric you don't get to but we were such a small crew and out in the middle of nowhere um that it was like yeah you got to know everybody fairly well and it was a very very cool movie to uh, get to work on hell yeah yeah i i remember i remember fucking geeking out at him because he he was just he was just updating me on his day and like where like he was just working on this small little production and and they were like out in uh, a bit north in Canada, and like it was pretty low production, and they were doing some found footage shit, and and he's just he's just sending me some pictures, and I'm and I'm yeah. just like putting two and two together <laughs> that he's on set of one of my favorite series, yeah, uh, yeah. and then I accidentally and, released right? that photos to the public, uh, which got oh. leaked. <laughs> Because I'm the really leak. I leaked that. So. Oh shit! Oh, shit. <laughs> That's <laughs> hilarious. Hey, confessional. Um, I leaked those photos. My bad. I didn't. Know <laughs> you leaked <laughs> photos. <laughs> and you stole the best boy title. Yep, and I got the best boy. Yeah. <laughs> now I got a text from him the day it came out, and he was like, "I hate you. I hate you so much." With a screen, like with a <laughs> photo of it. So. Uh, we had Ryan Prowse on the Overlook Hour, which is a podcast that was back on here. And I asked him years ago, what do you think about found footage? We were connecting on D&D tabletop games, and uh, he was, like, not into found footage. Really? So I'm curious how, mm. how – I'm, now, if you can talk about it. What his, was he excited to be making Terror? I mean, clearly it's R. Evans' favorite of the of the bunch in 94, which I, I disagree with. It. But I <laughs> First off, if you haven't seen Low Life, that's a fantastic movie. I highly recommend you go watch it. That was a good movie. But I- I'm curious what it was like on set with him for VHS. Uh, I mean, he was he was uh, a very generous director. I would say, like, he was very open to talking with crew and um, kind of breaking down the barriers that sometimes comes up, right? You know, when you're just the guy moving the lights around, not everybody uh, is super psyched to talk to you. Um, but he was like willing to talk about what was going on, which is very lovely. He seemed really in on the on the style of it, uh, with a very clear uh, vision, very clear direction. Um, and the entire thing had been written and prepped years before uh, the sort of January six stuff. But we were filming that around the time of the January six stuff. I remember it. So like, and he was like, "This is pretty poignant. I didn't mean to make a poignant thing, but <laughs> here we go." <laughs> Right, uh, so it's it was, wild, dude. I the, the way they interact at the barn and stuff too, with the, with everything. Like, I just think those characters feel so fucking authentic, especially it's like yeah. I live in rural Mississippi. Like, I live with these people, you know. Yeah, like, it's, it's like it's like a family reunion. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> but yeah, sorry, Tom. Keep going. I got no, excited. No, no. I was gonna say, like, like he he was very very excited, very focused. Uh, I mean, like we had stunt teams and we had explosions on that. And um, a lot of like uh, ammunition stuff going on. So it was, there was a lot 
happening and he was very on top of it and again still very open to just having conversations and uh and um with a very clear vision and it was it was honestly it was great working with him mm. hell yeah you know, I just I have to bring it up because Uh-oh. we've been talking about found footage. I mean, we're going to come on our eighth year in person at the Unnamed Footage Fest, and we've done like three, four years online, too. And we've just really been living through the what I can now say is like the end of the stigma of the subgenre. And now we're kind of in a rediscovery phase. Like, you know, we were just talking about creep tapes coming back and Shudder. They've been really pioneering this. I mean... You worked on the beginning of like this, like goosebumpsification of VHS that I think they were doing, which was a great move. I'm not a huge fan of Beyond, but I mean, I'm glad that they're still doing it. But everybody in '94, they felt like directors who probably never had any um, intention of playing in the in-world camera genre, but had an opportunity. And um, I don't know. I, I'm not against it, but it does kind of feel like they're held hostage. And I think it's the reverse of the problem y'all had when you were submitting to Film Fest. Like, people kind of... It's really easy to watch a slasher movie and just be like, oh, I've been here, just skip it. You know what I mean? Like, it's not for me just based on tropes of the subgenre. But when we're dealing with in-world camera, um, we were just talking about how Mark Duplass is like, people are tired of the stories that have been regurgitated. They're not tired Mm -hmm. of the format. And it's barely been well, explored, really. And dude, and like I've brought up to you, and I think I brought up on the show before, of like the format is so second nature, especially to people who are younger than us, like the Zoomer generation. Oh, yeah. Fucking everything yeah. they watch is shot vlog format, first person. It's people walking around with their fucking phones. Like, that's just, yeah. it doesn't feel like a weird step to them. It just feels like what they watch, you know? So, or even to the creative world. Like, if you yeah. worked on films, I think you get a, like, like, you can appreciate a movie in a way where it's speaking a different language, like through craft. What was that What was that 45-minute short that we showed that everybody loved? It was like Adobe Premiere Pro. Oh, yeah. On oh, digital I love that editing one. and digital, Adobe like Premiere Pro, a guide to work setup title. and workflow. Fucking so sick, dude. <laughs> Have you all seen that movie? That was great. I I've been I I've heard about that one. I've meant to check it out. It's just you like have escaped to. me. I'll send it I, to I, you, I should, dude. I should check that one out because yeah, is it I, out I, online? It might just be out now. Can you pull so. it up? Pull it up. Yeah, just let me at check the IMDb. Yeah, um, I love I love um, screen life. Screen life is a very interesting realm that that we're we're looking to tackle in something new. Um, <laughs> <laughs> oh, you hurt yourself over there, post ghost. Hold on. Well, while, while you're saying ow and I'm looking at your beautiful frame, uh, is there any significance to that hammer up above your head? Why are you looking at his background? <laughs> it's like I got Tom with. Yeah. Oh, really? Yeah. Yeah. Tom that's got the, killed by that. Hammer and that's the hammer and mask from from uh, Beholder. You, you're <laughs> you're the second director of an in world camera short. And film that has a David hammer. Dawson's the first. Yeah, David had um, I think like three of the hammers from uh, August Underground. They were like, oh, that's weird. <laughs> <laughs> it's definitely weirder than uh, a prop from your own movie. David so, Dawson's Creek. Yeah, you I passed, feel like I feel like I feel like the ones from August Underground have some like actual. Uh, uh, bodily fluids, probably. <laughs> oh my There's god! Some cursed yeah. energy uh, in those hammers for sure. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> some forensic en- <laughs> evidence on them. Um. <laughs> no, this short though. This is it. Digital video editing with Adobe Premiere Pro: The Real World Guide to Setup and Workflow. Oh my god! Uh, this shit is incredible. Name. I yep. saw it. I think it, like fantastic or with some fest, and I was like, guys, we got to fucking show this. And mm-hmm. it's literally, dude. It's it's. There's literally a post ghost in this movie. Like there's oh my people gosh. are working on there an is, edit you're right. in Premiere Pro. Yeah. yeah. And there's a ghost in the edit that starts mm-hmm. popping up in the footage. And they're like, what the yeah. fuck? This wasn't there when we shot this. This was great. Like, I love this. It's one. so good. Mm-hmm. You would love it. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I got I definitely gotta check this out. Uh, definitely. It's also the perfect example of like showing people who've probably never played in Premiere. And like edited anything, nope. but making it very accessible. Like Terrell's into it, but I every time, it. every time I try to show you your Blu-ray in its editing format, you're like, "Oh, that looks like work." I'm not- <laughs> too much. That was too much. Too many lines. I couldn't do it. I like, he's like, "Why there's so many colored blocks?" Yeah, down I there? can't do this. Nope, I'm not an editor. You be editing post ghost? 
Did yes. you edit this movie? Man, he had, yes, he I had did. editing credits on the, the on edit- the witch. <laughs> oh, duh. I, we just. I, like, I, mm, mm. Wait, the bitch. <laughs> <laughs> Why didn't you edit on that? The smallest role on the witch. <laughs> I didn't even get a. I didn't. I'm not in the end credits on the witch. I like. <laughs> yeah. Oh wow. I like double check to make sure their audio was in sync and burnt the DVDs for festivals. That's oh really? As much <laughs> that was it. On the witch. Wait, that's a and thing yet you I'm do. I'm in Robert Eggers' the wiki DVDs? page for some reason. Um, oh, that's cool. That's tight. Okay. It's, it's also very helpful. Uh, you might have just screwed yourself because we might need to hit you up to burn blue. It's, <laughs> why? You know, it's funny. When, like, found footage is a, t- a technology uh, playground, right? And why is it the only two hardware, like, devices that make me fucking angry for over a decade have been printers? Printers, for some reason, they're never going to be easy to use. And burning fucking movies. As an IT guy of several years, like I've worked in IT for like, I don't know, five-ish years of my life. Fuck printers, dude. (laughs) (laughs) But burning Blu-rays, you would figure that they'd be a little bit easier. But as a backup in Film Fest, you like to have one. Like say a DCP Mm -hmm. comes out, but it gets lost in the mail or a projectionist steals it or something. You're like, well, we got a Blu-ray. Except, dude, to get those to play reliably, is there like a secret to it? Oh, I don't know. I this, is, <laughs> <laughs> this was remember uh, which was like what uh, uh, twelve years ago? Yeah, um, a while ago, over a decade. <laughs> oh god, damn it! There I go again. <laughs> oh my god, you is where are you in? You in a shed too? You knocking stuff over? Oh no, no, no. we'll do, we'll do it again. All right, y'all, we back. <laughs> Tom, is this what you have to deal with? Tom, is this is your buddy always do this? Uh, honestly, normally I'm the unreliable one. So this is oh, what, damn. What makes me look the really good. Star unreliable. That's what I appreciate. <laughs> okay. What well, oh, you know, Evan, you you worked also on, and I don't know, Thomas, you you might have worked on this too. I'm not entirely sure, but you sent you sent me a link for a a short called The American Bean. Yeah, yes, bean. Now, that's a cool one though. <laughs> <laughs> Tom, Tom has. I, I'm pretty sure Garth managed to get yeah. a little bit of your voice in there. I technically am in there. Um, I don't okay. Know. Yeah. Where are you? I that. Um, I recorded myself saying beans over and over and over again in different voices, and then sent it to the sound. Uh, sent oh. it to our friend who was doing sound, who's Garth McBride, and. Um, I was because we there had been a discussion that maybe the beans would have a voice, and I immediately was like me 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 me. Evan showed me footage, and I was like, I have, to be, I have to be in this, and I have to be the voice of the beans. Um, and I think that idea was uh, eventually scrapped, but Garth snuck snuck me in there, uh, which was very kind of him. Yeah, that was an idea that we all came up with uh, without telling the director. <laughs> yeah. <he's a> <laughs> <laughs> was the director uh hyped on it uh well she nixed it so <laughs> <laughs> well you know hey tom uh here's here's your chance to prove the world that they made the wrong choice can we get a little bit of that bean voice oh, sure wow. do, which bean voice there we do go. you want i can do the tim i'll do i the think tim curry i think you should i think you should pull it yeah the tim curry bean voice tim was curry my bean. favorite because um <clears throat> Beans. That's my Tim Curry <laughs> beans. <laughs> Jump scared Terrell. <laughs> oh, I, I like did. It. I was taken aback. I was like, oh, "Okay, pop star." <laughs> See, I, was taken I think aback we need it. a. I think we need like a fa la so ti da or whatever the fa. I don't fucking oh, sing. Don't we need like a scale. We need like a scale. That was just as bad as your comedy. We need it. That was horrible. We need a scale of beans. You know, I'll do Tim Curry in a scale. There you go. All right, here one second. Da, na, 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 na. Beans, 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 beans. Hell yeah! <laughs> I like that. <laughs> that That's right. what we needed right there. Yeah. Okay, I got my another one. My favorite one. All right, one. now do a black bean. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I don't what does that mean? In, uh, stereotypes. So it's going to sound exactly the same. <laughs> okay. <laughs> 
when he offered up beans, I was going through my head. I'm like, oh, confused. Gonna we gonna want to do poker beans, black beans, black eyed peas, pinto beans. We can we pinto can, can do, do a lot of different beans. kinds of beans. Yeah, refried beans. You could do a little bit of a Taco Bell thing. beans. You're gonna be in the shitter. Beans. <laughs> Oh my god. Y'all want to do all these damn beans. Um, like you give it a shot. I ain't doing that. Come on. Well, the, no, I no, know. No. So you worked on it in an editing capacity, though, right, Evan? The beans? What are uh, visual yeah, effects, for, glitches? For the Ameri- yeah, for the American bean, I, I did the edit, the color, the uh, glitch effects we ended up going with. And then I was also part of the one big practical effect, which was the giant kidney bean exploding out of the guy's head. Okay, oh, tight, tight. Wow, we didn't say kidney beans <laughs> who, earlier. Who did the, the, I love the, oh, can I, can I spoil it? Uh, <laughs> sure. People ain't seen to it. What, to what direction? Well, I just like, like the, let me hint at it, maybe, and you'll know what I, there's a, uh, right at the end the, of the, fi- like, the final frame of the goddamn thing, with the, with the, there's a, there's a can opener-esque, uh, <laughs> head, <laughs> Uh, yeah, that was, that, that was, uh, that was Mikey and DC. Those were the, the directors or yeah, DC, uh, DC Duya, uh, directed it. And then, uh, Mikey, um, was the, uh, co-writer who, um, yeah, they were, they were both, uh, handling a lot of the practical effects like that shot. Oh man, that shot had some grisly behind the scenes shots too that just like they didn't get the angle of um but oh, oh, I, I would have i would have loved to use a different a different angle for it but i still think that it what what came of it was pretty pretty oh, gnarly it, looks, it um, looks so gnarly that's one of my favorite <laughs> things i love the just the visual like th- I, it's like you tie all yeah. the themes of the thing together into one shot you know like it's so good yeah, um, that, oh man, we had a good reaction to that, and by that, I mean the worst reaction to that. Uh, we are, The first time we screened was at Shockstock, which was uh, the same place that Beholder screened for the first time. Okay. Um, we, ended up, we ended up winning Best Short and uh, DC won Best Director for, for American Bean, which was great. Um, but Shockstock is a rowdy, rowdy uh, uh, horror convention in London, Ontario, Um where oh. everyone's like everyone's I have some friends who live very there. much imbibing throughout the throughout the festival and getting and getting loud with it. Um and uh there was one older woman who was in the crowd who was just having a fucking hoot the entire time. She was just hooting and hollering the entire movie, was so excited about it, and then that shot happens, which is a pretty downer shot, and we just hear her from the back of the crowd boo us. Uh, <laughs> Aww. she was flicking her beans until the end. Oh my god! Oh, poor. Girl. I mean, if we got the reaction, it was it's it's we made we made people feel something, so that's good. Hell yeah! <laughs> okay, it's not a happy ending. Uh, well, that's so, what I, I, I that's what I told Sophia during flight. I'm like, if we could make one person cry. While they're watching oh. Florida Man, like I've won, yeah. I've done it. <laughs> oh. So that's my goal. Now that I've, I've, I'm manifesting, somebody I, needs to I cry during the premiere. I'm... Go ahead, go no. ahead, let it out. No, no, no. You want me to do it? You could do it. Yeah, Sorrell's gonna cry, time. but I don't mean like a cry, like bitch about it. I mean like actually cry. You know? Oh, like like when your mom sees it, she cries from disappointment. <laughs> oh, <laughs> Man, she's gonna be in it. She's gonna be in it. She's gonna like it. Oh, dude, I know. I know. I'll pretend to like it too. Me too. Fuck you, dude. <laughs> you want to edit it? Get out of here. <laughs> uh, Evan, you know you, Churchill. You're kind of um. Poster. To us, I love that they have to differentiate. This is fucking. Yeah, you tight. have to. To Evan, it's too different because you already cut people off all the damn time. We gotta make sure we know who we talking to. <laughs> I just want you to know that in um, first off, it uh makes sense and it makes me happy that a ton of people rejected you and then you show up to our film fest and win an award uh, yeah. <laughs> we, we knew what we were dealing with because we put you in front of uh, Whore in the High Desert yes, which three. was a big draw and I want to say mm-hmm. thank you for hanging out that screening went late mm-hmm. and not a single person fucking left yep. um, and it was kind of a, a big moment to open for that movie and I mean pressure wise but it crushed people loved it and you've kind of become known as the distortion guy and I, you know, yeah. I, I was thinking the about this guy. earlier. Yeah. <laughs> in a, in the regular episode we just recorded before this, Evan was talking about how he hated the glitch effect 
that uh, JWoww used in her movie. Yeah. And <laughs> it's funny because when whenever we're working on a film and we're adding kind of like distortion. I think I name dropped Evan Churchill during that complaint you did. about you should you do it right yeah. like Evan you Churchill did. did. But yeah. it, it kind of gets to like the weird space we're in where I don't even think of it as like a transition method or anything. I, I mostly think of it as like a texture. And I think now that 4K cameras, 8K cameras are there. I mean, you could buy one off Amazon for like $100 or a thousand probably. But they're really accessible. It's a hundred dollars. Send me that fucking link, dude. I know. I I was thinking about you because I know you got a thousand dollar. Make yeah, me a film or starter set. Yeah. Oh, okay. And um, I, it it's like now I think that texture is almost kind of like sought after, and you've kind of become a name in there. I'm when we were uh showing um Frogman, mm -hmm. Anthony Cousins was talking about how he created the authentic effect. Yeah. Yeah. I love yeah. I love talking to him about it after after the the horror in the high desert screening we I, I ended up catching him at the bar and we were just talking about like how we were doing those glitch effects and, and hell yeah. yeah I love I love his method like, go on and go on and explain it but yeah no no I, I'd like to hear from you because I was not in that conversation but I would have loved to be a fly on the wall I know you were. oh okay <laughs> yeah no for yeah uh, uh, Anthony Cousins was talking about how so so a big difference between like how I make my effects and, and cousins made his effects was, so I use, I use um, VCRs. And so I just put our footage onto a tape and then start like magnetizing and heating them up and oh, wow. like, throwing them in the freezer or something. I did a whole Whoa. bunch of stuff for, for the holder. Um, but Frozen footage. Anthony, I love it. Anthony, what he was, what, what he was doing was he has a VHS camera but he didn't. Sh I don't think they shot with it. I think that they transferred onto VHS through the camera, like just with with a set of component cables. And mm -hmm. then, as they were capturing it back onto their computer from from the camera, they started like smacking their camera as they would as uh. they would hit the points where they wind glitches. So they're like physically shaking the thing and like messing with it that way, which I thought I thought was genius. Yeah, yeah it, it's kind of a caveman approach, but it's really effective. Very, very, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, you very know, we're, bam, bam. We're in such a digital world now that that analog kind of effect. It, it honestly, it kind of took me aback that it worked. Like you just punch the fucking camera and you got that. Yeah. <laughs> and y'all even have like what in the first half of of Beholder a full on glitch dude in the parking garage, which is sick. <laughs> There's like a that, fucking oh. man made of static, and it's fucking tight. I love it. Yeah, that one's that that one's uh, uh, After Effects. Sure, right. <laughs> I, just, I just think it's cool that you not only are you doing like the shit, like hitting a fucking camera and putting tapes in a goddamn freezer, but you're also doing like After Effects effects, and they look yeah, tight and they blend seamlessly with with the analog yeah, stuff. There's there's a couple there's a couple uh, bits where I did have to use some After Effects for. To, to make uh, my character get like consumed and like removed into just static, it was it was a bit of a it, I, I stuck to rotoscoping for most of this, which is when you yeah. cut out like a a piece of of the film. The old school um, way of and, doing it. Oh well, that the old school way would be to to have an actual film reel and then just sure. make an exact <laughs> yeah. knife and as old school as you can get bit. through or through after. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Um, but yeah, like I would, there, there was that shot. There was, uh, the shot where, um, the hallway, like the lights blink and the hallway just extends forever. Yeah. Um, those, those kind of things were a little bit of after effects, but I was using, um, like the static that is in, in that silhouette is captured from my tape deck. And then I took that footage of, of the staticky, uh, character and then ran it back through. So it does still have that uh, other layer that's like baking it in of static, right? Right. Um, and uh, and yeah, I think I think it really helps to blend the images. There, there's yeah, there's there's some simple effects, but um, the 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 like you were saying, the texture of it really really sets it together. Um, I think. I, I I still collect lots lots of tapes. Um, I still think that a lot of movies, especially like '80s horror movies and stuff, look better on VHS tape because 
they weren't supposed to be crystal clear. Like mm-hmm. I I have I have like the whole collection of Friday the thirteenth on Blu-ray, but I'll still pop in a tape over at the Blu-rays because like I you you can't see it it, it smooths it smooths out all the rough edges that, that you can see once you get that crystal clear yeah. image. Yeah, for um when when I first met Terrell years ago, mm-hmm. almost every week we would get together and watch one of those stream scream tapes right behind him. Yep. We would just pop it in and I mean we both had it in every well actually I don't think it was out on Blu-ray yet at that point. Yeah. But for some reason it's like, well, fuck the DVD, let's just go right to something about the form the format is like something in that analog. It feels like it, it holds nostalgia. Even though whenever you watch a videotape, they're not fucking glitched out. Like that was like that was almost like uh, in my um, experience, mm-hmm. it was exclusive to video rentals from a store that had nudity, where you could tell people were constantly rewinding to oh, get that part, yeah. <laughs> or, like, yeah. or like a kid, <laughs> right? Because I mean, again, we're we're dealing with film and magnets, and that's what does it is just the the fucking rewinding. Yeah. Sometimes so, I mean, you just got to see that pair of breasts, dude. You got you got to really get a good look. You got to rewind five times hey. as a, as an eleven year old who snuck down the stairs at night. Your parents are asleep. You go through their fucking VHS collection. You go to the nudie scenes and just rewind it. So this it, is how you did you it. Know? Uh, no Home tapes. <laughs> <laughs> That's not how Evan no. did it. How did Evan do it? <laughs> <laughs> Evan had the internet. Oh, I'll man. tell you, back in my day, oh, that Evan was young. Yep, uh, back in in my day, you would go to channel ninety nine or something and see some blurred out people. Blurred, yeah. <laughs> well, this was before I was old enough to like figure out. Oh, I can just type it in on my computer, and there's there's tons of porn on the internet. That's way better than anything in those movies. But no, uh-huh. I didn't know that yet. Then I was a child that shouldn't well, have so, been still doing are. what I was doing. You know. <laughs> what were you doing? I don't know. I don't want to get into that oh on here. <laughs> <laughs> so, Tom, do you feel like you've been pulled into this weird world? Do you regret it now? Oh, I don't regret working on it at all. Uh, at, at all. Like, I love being in this world and, and making this stuff. I love uh, coming up with ways to scare people. I just don't like to be scared personally. Um, I have Why? to watch so much we more horror scare him. now. <laughs> Will you come into F? You should. Stay tuned. I would love to. Genuinely, I would love to. I mean, I'm I'm so I actually I'm I'm still in film through uh, a collective that Evan and I are part of called Femur Dreams. Uh, we still work in film okay. that way, but I'm like a primary school teacher. Um, femur, oh. femur dreams, like what femur, like teaching, femur dreams. Tom? Yeah. I love that. That's fucking tight. <laughs> uh, so, what do you teach, Tom? I teach, I teach primary school. So, I teach like grades, ah. grades like junior kindergarten up till uh, grade eight right now. Uh, oh, but, okay. Uh, it's really funny because uh, kids are they all get computers all the time. So, mm-hmm. uh, as a teacher, you're like a weird. I, I have a friend who described it as like you're a shitty celebrity because uh, you're big in these kids' <laughs> lives. But like the re- the rest of the world doesn't give a shit, so uh, they're <laughs> always interested in you. So they Google you. So I have kids oh. in like the fourth grade who are like so psyched for your movie to drop on YouTube, and you're like, you oh, shouldn't wow. watch it, and <laughs> I'm scared you know that. But oh, that's so <laughs> like, crazy. I, well, I just want to look into the camera here and say sorry, kids. If yeah. you're watching this. <laughs> yeah. like, I give you the view. Evan, I give you the view. So that's okay. Yeah. Um, but like, no, I love working wow. on it. And I'm like, I mean, Evan and I are writing the, or we've written the first draft for the feature follow up for Beholder. And uh, what a feature follow up. You got to give oh. us some sneak peeks. What is this? Uh, uh, cur- do we want to name it? Yeah. Yeah. Let's drop the name. Uh, yes, let's do it. it uh, we like sneak peeks over here. <laughs> it was uh, Gorgon. Um, mm. And it is essentially a continuation of the story that you see in Beholder. Um, and uh, what happens with the, the physical media after that. Um, we have, like, uh, there's an interesting sequence. Evan, I'll let you tell the, the mall sequence if you want to talk Ooh, about I'm that. Oh, I'm going to hear. Oh, yes. yeah, yeah. So so we're kind of we're kind of formatting it as an anthology film. So we have, like, a few uh, short segments that we have to uh, pull together. Our idea is to um, follow the camera instead of the characters. So, like, okay. we want to we want to show, um, like, what this curse is that's being moved from victim to victim um 
but yeah, we have we have a a sequence that we're planning to shoot in a bunch of uh, the the dead malls around Ontario, uh, oh, okay. where we want to we want to do some some fun uh, mannequin horror. Uh, and, oh, uh, nice. we have, we have, some, we have some ideas for some, like, uh, uh, what do we call it? Life-size stop motion. Uh, oh, hell yeah. we, have a, we have a, we have a stop motion artist on the, on the team at Femur Dreams and, uh, they're, they're like itching to get back into it. So, um, so yeah, we, yeah, that's, that's, that's probably the segment we'll be shooting first. Um, okay. there might, it might, it might, we might send it out to festivals as like a, it's uh, another standalone thing, but oh, um, okay. But yeah, we have we yeah well, dude, we have hit that. Us up. We Wa- have Waver City, you know. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Um, yeah, no, you guys will definitely be hearing about it. That that's I'm not going to hold that from y'all. Um, uh, but but yeah, like it. We we really want to run the gamut of. Uh, well, I really want to run the gamut of of. Uh, glitch art and i want Mm -hmm. i want this thing to take different forms and i want it to be a bunch of different cameras so i can mess with like the eras right so like we want to do like an eight millimeter segment and we want to do a photography Uh, segment yeah i want to do like like a digital one where i'm messing with data moshing and stuff like that okay the eras Uh, tour I like yeah, this. The, yeah, I personally <laughs> the older eras tour. I'm here for it. <laughs> Period. No, I, I like the idea of, of you doing an anthology that's just you're doing it all. Because I feel like that's one of the like I've seen a there's a I can't think of any named examples, but I've definitely seen anthologies where it was all one dude, and I feel like there's more one, I, you know, ungendered yeah, person. I, there was one person, <laughs> and I feel like it's more consistent. Like there's more well, of a through yeah. line a lot of times, you know. Yeah, I uh, trick or treat is the big one I can think of. There that, you go. Yeah, yeah, it was yeah. the one Perfect. director. Um, but we do we do intend to get other other filmmakers involved and stuff because we have this okay. collective that that everyone wants to like collaborate on each other's stuff and yeah um, and so like me and Tom are each uh, taking a segment to to direct ourselves. I think Ooh. we're probably like swapping roles where like one of us will be the the uh, cinematographer and one of us will be the director so that we can still like. Um, collaborate through this whole thing, um, yeah, but nice. like one the uh, the eight millimeter segment. I'm I I really want to get um, one of our filmmakers, um, Zeddy Chevron, who I need I need to send them I need to send you guys uh, uh, their film that they have going around trial uh, doc? trial dot doc, which trial. is, is terrific. Oh, it's it's shit. such it's such a cool found footage uh, piece. It's like a faux doc. It it breaks the format in a really interesting way at, as mm-hmm. like a way to show dissociation. Just fantastic. And there goes my <laughs> camera once again. I love it. <laughs> dude. Yeah, dude. Absolutely. I'm, send I'm us though, to trial by doc. That sounds fucking tight. Yeah. Yeah. Trial.doc is, is sick. Um, Zeddy wants me to do some work on it. So I, I think I'll probably send you guys like the current version uh, so we can like, in time for us, but there might be some some new glitch fuckery from my from my oh, end. Hell, on that. hell yeah, hell um, yeah! I'm excited to see what you do in Homebody too. You've worked you've worked yeah. on that. Yeah, and I don't yeah, know. I haven't I haven't, I haven't started seen... work on that one yet. Um, oh okay, they're, okay. They're, t- they're taking their sweet time with the edit. So well, the, uh, the stuff that I did <laughs> is done, uh, and I haven't even oh, yeah, seen it. Right, I don't know what it looks like. Too. I don't know what it looks like yet in the movie. I'm excited to like see how yeah. it. Because the stuff I did is going to be inside screens inside the movie, so it's like stuff that's on mm-hmm. like a, oh, like an EKG that? thing, which is uh, which is wild because my stuff, my glitch work stuff, is not is not like uh, uh, screens. It's not it's not about cameras or anything. It's yeah, something, yeah. It's something else. <laughs> okay, um, okay. Which I, I it, it's a really cool concept that I can't like get into. Okay, that's yeah. Film. See, I'm uh, excited which, to by see the way, uh, sorry, what you to, do on just it. To, just to clear this up for the listeners, like we're we're talking about Homebody, which is um, yeah uh, Nick Toady and Rachel Kemp's uh, new film that they've been working on for a while. Uh, they're the ones that did. It doesn't get any better than this. Um, so yeah, I, I I I met up with them when they were in town for TIFF, and and we got to talking about it. And it's a it's a cool project. I'm excited to 
to dude, get when he told me he got, he's like, dude, we got Evan Churchill doing some some stuff for it, some glitch work, and I'm like, damn, dude, you fucking, you got like the best person you could have got. Like, there's, you know, yeah, what the fuck? How did y'all meet at TIFF but not at our festival? Yeah, they were at UF. Uh, oh no, we did, meet, were... we did meet at your festival. <laughs> yeah. That was okay, that okay. was what happened. All right, give us that yeah. credit. Oh, yeah. I, I, and you I came out and watched that movie too with them. He's like, yeah. we met at Tiffany's. Like, girl. That's right. You brought some friends, right? Did you watch <laughs> it? Did Tiffany's you watch it, Tom? Over there. No, okay. I haven't seen this. Evan, what are you talking about? You didn't about? go watch It Doesn't Get Any Better Than This with him at TIFF? You should have. You don't like scary movies? Dude, the movie's I, fucking rules. Talked to all yeah, about Tom's it. out of town, so it's yeah, kind of hard for him to get. Oh, okay. 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 I lived there for a long time, but I had to, again, I teach in a small town. Now. Right. Right. Yeah, he's right. a teacher. He's up in Saskatoon or whatever it's Saskatoon. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, that's that's uh, what's his name? That's Daddy Deathbone. Uh, yeah, yeah. Uh... <laughs> or he's working on John Carpenter's The Thing. Uh... I like I like how Evans taking shots at somebody living in a small town I coming know. from a shed. Even a shed that just found out has. Dude, windows. I got it. I get it all the time. I, I gotta. It's like. Rural on rural like crime is happening here, dude. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah. <laughs> no, but Nick told me, he texted me and he said that you were coming to the screening and you were bringing a bunch of buddies. And I'm like, that's fucking sick that he's just rolling out with a posse to support this movie. I, that's tight. Yeah, I brought I brought a good ten people. <laughs> Hell yeah. <laughs> that was one of no, those they're things. great. You put it out over the, the our Femur Dreams Discord. You were like, everybody has to come and see this movie. If you are free yeah. on this <laughs> night, you're coming to the movie. Well, I mean, it's probably their last shot I'd ever seen it again. Yeah, so, so right. <laughs> yep. I I hope. I mean, I dig the only in theaters thing that yeah. they're doing with the film, but eventually, right? It's got to come out on Blu-ray. <laughs> that that thing has to be so. <laughs> you know, to to Rachel and Nick's credit, though, I I do believe them when they say it never will. Yeah, they oh, yeah. Nope. yeah. Only they're, theaters. They're, yeah, they're, <laughs> they've so, got they've got that that kind of kind of hippie uh, art vibe where they're like, no, we're sticking to this. We're not. Yep. <laughs> yeah. We're not gonna bend for for the for cash. money. Yeah. yeah. Which they been respectable, offered. Respectable though. I love it. So, uh, if you have a little handheld camera or maybe a phone that you want to sneak out, put it in your pocket and record, go ahead. There's a market for it. No. Um, <laughs> <laughs> well, I ain't, I ain't part of that. No, I'm, not, I'm not approving of that one. <laughs> Dude, how, how happy would that toxic fucking found footage Reddit be oh, if, yeah. if that movie, if oh, there was man. some little bootleg floating around? You know, honestly, that's prime real estate for a found footage movie just nest it oh, in that shit. community right like like somebody that, with a camera going into a theater to record a movie as the setup for a found yeah. footage movie is kind of fucking sick yeah That's i like that it's not bad yeah yeah <laughs> and particularly for that reddit because i know you know what maybe even some of you listening you're from that reddit and you know i'm not judging you it's just the I attitude of that reddit is they're, where's the free link they're rude <laughs> they're rude as they're fuck. rude as fuck yeah and they were going in on a uh, dutch like oh this movie doesn't even exist those people lied up oh. yeah they were going in i'm, they, I'm, I'm glad you brought rude that as up fuck. um like, did, man, I did hope you that JCVD that? guy is listening to this. Yeah, that guy's a fucking tool. <laughs> All right. Don't get bodied by a Redditor. I know. He <laughs> is. He'll find oh, your shit. Single. And, 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 and yeah, delete you from this world, bitch. Um, Evan, did you realize for a minute that you were part of an online conspiracy? Because the found footage Reddit thought that the whore in the high desert was, was fake. fake. <laughs> yeah. yeah. And we, yeah, and we faked the screening. Yep. Yeah. Yeah, we didn't actually show that movie. I that did, was all just a I hoax. did hear about how they how how they they all thought that you guys faked the screening, which I think yeah, is so hilarious. Stupid. How tight is that though? I hey, mean, I kind of like people yeah, are but, weird. I think it's sick, dude. <laughs> they just we should make computers. a faux doc about how we faked it, dude, and how actually we didn't show that movie. <laughs> oh, dude, I'm down. <laughs> Y'all yeah. have to be a part of it because you're complicit. <laughs> yeah, your movie showed before it you're directly tied into this conspiracy yeah. okay, you know? I'm in. i mean i'm in you want me as part of this doc as being like we made beholder we didn't actually make beholder um <laughs> hell yeah <laughs> we made that after. Let's sort of back this up. 
No, Tom, you'd have to play like, yeah, we were talking about making the movie, but we never finished it. And Evan just flew out to California, but we didn't have a film to show. <laughs> you could be the voice of reason. Yeah, I, mean, I don't know. Yeah. I don't know where this movie came from. I'm pretty sure he followed me around with a camera. I don't remember filming any of this. I mean, I'm already doing that in our in our YouTube release, which was yesterday. Uh, I like put in the comment. I was like, I do not, or no, maybe this was on social media. But I just went like I went. I do not recommend watching this movie. Your friend will turn into a ghost who follows you around and attempts to murder you. Oh, hell yeah, <laughs> dude! In our little faux doc too, we could credit you as like best boy and voice of beans too. Oh yes, hell yeah! There we <laughs> go. All that stolen value you're, you're uh, crediting. Yeah, and for anybody listening, Beholder, we'll link that in the description. Go watch that shit if you haven't seen it. It's tight. Oh, it rules. You. Please uh, do. But also, American Bean. What's when is that coming out? Do you know? Do you have like a any idea? Uh, it's still it's still doing festivals right now. Uh, that one has been a lot more well received by festivals and is and is crushing it across the board. We they they just won um, the the can of beans won best villain at one of the horror fests, which <laughs> wow. I think Hell is yeah. amazing. Uh, <laughs> Uh, so that one's that one's still still doing its rounds. Um, That's my word. I'm not gonna lie. When you said the started... can of beans, my my mind actually went to the, the can, like C A N N E S, of beans. Oh, uh, <laughs> like the film festival. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> that was a good joke. Terrell won't give it to you, but I will. Good that job. Not good. <laughs> I enjoyed that. Oh, that's, that would be a good tagline. Um. It wasn't funny. <laughs> <laughs> um, didn't no, crack yeah, his that smile. One's, that, one's, didn't. that one's still... <laughs> no. Um, that, we, that one started doing festivals in March, April. So, so around then, it'll probably get an online release. It's probably oh, okay. it's usually about a year of doing the festivals. Yeah, I know DC's having a blast with it. So, um, but we got other stuff to make. Uh, <laughs> so, besides Hell that yeah. continuation or or whatnot, what else do you guys have coming up? Any upcoming things y'all want to talk about? Uh, we can talk a little bit about what Femur Dreams is doing. Uh, okay, let's got, get into it. We've got so Femur Dreams is like a whole slew of directors uh, and writers, and uh, there's people who are editors and camera ops and um and we all just kind of wanted to find like a way to properly collaborate across the board so we're doing like a big anthology film where we've got we've got a really solid concept that i don't want to cool. get too into you want to uh, uh, concept you want to put the name i don't I don't think so. I don't think I want to put the name out yet. We're, we're, we, haven't, we haven't even got a first draft on this one yeah. yet. We're still very much in development phase. I would say, um, I think the biggest hint uh, would be that capitalism is the villain, and there we go. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Okay. Yeah. Um, it's yeah. It's going to be fun. It's we've got we've got some very cool people involved. We've got that stop motion artist that I was talking about. Um, they they're they're writing one of the one of the segments. Uh, me and Tom are each are each taking one uh, as as writer and director. Uh, it it um, it's definitely going to be kind of a hybrid film at the end of the day because like my my segment is like very much found footage. Um, yeah. Uh, and I, I came up with the segment while I was having um, a bad, uh, what do you call it again? Headache. No. <laughs> <laughs> no, I was, I, was having a, I was having a root canal. I was having oh, a root okay. canal. Yeah. That, was, that was a rough time. And it was one of these, it was one of these dentists that has like um, a like one of those big TVs that hang over you so you can like oh, watch yeah. Netflix or something. Except it was just off. So it was just a <laughs> mirror pointing directly down my mouth oh. so I could see everything they were doing. <laughs> oh. Wow. Brutal. Uh, so I took a lot of inspiration from that. And uh, my my segment's gonna, gonna be... Uh, they can use some, you... some of that imagery. <laughs> I was gonna say, I hope you recorded it and used it as the pinnacle scene in your short film. <laughs> <laughs> 
Uh, for those keeping score, that is a joke based on the inverts. Uh, Evan's hate third it. of that. <laughs> I hate what keeps doing that. <laughs> That movie. Ugh. I can't wait for him to make part two because one of his eyes oh, stopped God. working, so they're gonna need to cut it open. Sure, it did. Yeah, my one of my eyes is currently. If I close this eye, it feels like this one's just somebody spun the focus. It's just, just dialed out. <laughs> 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 Terrell is uh it's he's got a look on his face that I would describe as a combination of disappointment and uh that's not funny. It's this not. is a video right. episode. You don't have to describe it. We can it's just throw it to him. <laughs> Still, I, I like uh I like looking at the gears turning in his head. Yeah, because I just <laughs> I'm, by, I'm just we 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 happens. David Dawson texts so, me every day and is like, I can't it's a miracle you're still alive, dude. <laughs> <laughs> Because Reddit's going to kill you? What's in that drink? What are you yeah. drinking? Oh, I'm drinking uh, Modelo Negra. Wrong camera. Oh. <laughs> Modelo <laughs> Negra. Yeah. Nice. Okay, you feeling it. All right. So, um, so FEMA Dreams, you got the anthology. I'm excited for that. But before we end this, I want y'all to plug where we can find out about more tidbits, where they can follow you. Let's start with Tom, because you didn't talk as much. But uh, okay. uh, Tom, tell us what you... <laughs> where can we follow you and get some more updates from what you got going on uh sure i mean i'm uh tom as usual on instagram that's uh my main thing and then uh we've got the femur dreams account wait a also second on- hold on let me stop you right there you're just oh. tom on instagram tom, as, usual. as usual so it's yeah, like tom, oh, as tom as you okay <laughs> i thought you were just i'm just tom as usual on instagram tom. i'm like you no, literally just have tom. at tom because oh, that's God. fucking sick I got in early. uh <laughs> No, so I'm just calm as usual, uh, and okay. I have that on on Instagram. Um, I'm trying to think, and then we've got Analog Hallway on YouTube, which is YouTube. Our... Yes, give them a subscribe, you guys, and go yeah. make sure y'all go watch, watch Beholder. Beholder. Yeah. yeah, so we're Period. Analog Hallway, Analog underscore Hallway, um, and that's sort of Evan and I when we collaborate. That's where our stuff comes out. Um, okay, and then uh, Femur Dreams. I think it's Femur dot Dreams on uh, Instagram. Um, yes, it is. Where sort of our entire collective has been putting their stuff out there uh, as well. Um, I think, honestly, I am very not active on social media. So, yeah, you a school teacher. Follow me. You anyway. and good, yes, dude. So I get you so, uh, <laughs> less depressed than anyone who is more in- involved in social media. So, yeah. <laughs> so the post goes. I have to be careful. To be careful. There post- are children. <laughs> Right, yeah, yeah. exactly. Yeah, <laughs> that hopefully um, don't find this episode. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you'll be like, "That's my teacher." Gross. <laughs> <laughs> um, and and yeah, you can find me. I'm I'm at the underscore post ghost um, yes. on most spots. Um, yeah, check out Femur Dreams. Um, I've got uh, some work coming up. Uh, uh, yeah, check out Homebody when it comes out. Oh yeah, uh, I'm I'm I've got a couple other collaborations I'm working on right now as well. Uh, I've got one with uh, Joshua Brucker. Uh, I'm doing I'm doing some some uh, tape degrades to his uh, kill tapes for for one of his films uh, for a re-release of Untitled Footage. Uh, and then I've got one with uh, Noah Nichols coming up. Uh, called uh some silent footage and that one's that one's going to be cool that one's like very steeped in like the uh punk and hardcore scenes of of uh that director's area so i'm 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 excited to get my hands on some footage from that one too um and yeah just post ghost everywhere uh and yeah hit me up Give me up in these glitches. I I I want to keep working on this stuff. <laughs> I want yeah. I want to be I want to be the guy that everyone that everyone turns to for this for this analog glitch stuff. Yeah. That is that is my ideal goal. Yes, yeah. and we and have been shouting you out. So I'll um, say as well, yes, like hope... if you want cinematography okay. work, I would love cinematography work. Anybody's got work. Hell like, yeah. Seriously. <laughs> Get me back. Tom as usual. <laughs> he a pop star, y'all. He can sing beans. <laughs> he can do a ballad. He's got the name for it too. Let hi, like hire this man. I know this is oh, random, right. but hire I these did men. sing a version <laughs> of Silent Night to Beans. Like with I replaced everything with beans and like Oh I yeah, that was our end credits for a while. Put it on the credits for a bit and I was like, I wish it had stayed. But that was yeah. <laughs> you know, I keep pushing the fact that like my part got cut from beans, but you know. Oh, 
I'm Emerald just Camp Fodok about I never the, got the, approval. Never got approval. <laughs> Tom Pardo and the Ballad of Beans. Fodok. I'm just saying. <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> that beer went a long way with it Evan. It did. Oh it really God. did. <laughs> I'm glad we at the end of this. All right, guys. Thank you for the footage foreplay. We'll see y'all next week. Bye. Yeah, I love you guys. Thanks for coming and hanging out. You guys are awesome. Thanks for listening to Footage Foreplay. If you enjoy the show, please consider leaving a review, sharing it with a friend, or simply hitting like. These small gestures are a great free way to support this mayhem. And if you find some footage we should be fondling, email us at footageforeplay at gmail.com. Check back every Tuesday and Thursday for new episodes, and remember, don't skip the foreplay.